Hey there, good morning. This is the town of Trim and Trim Castle. Staying at the Trim Hotel or the Trim Castle Hotel. The castle was built in the 12th century and was featured in the Mel Gibson movie Braveheart. And it is looking pretty spectacular. I like the older ones that have a bit more of a sort of a ruined feel to them as opposed to the kind of more perfect castles. Braveheart, the movie. Braveheart, a movie starring Mel Gibson, was filmed and trimmed during the summer of 1994. Gibson played the Scottish hero William Wallace. Braveheart employed hundreds of trim locals as extras. Outside the castle walls was transformed into the 13th century city of York, which was besieged by William Wallace in the movie. The keep inside the walls became the Tower of London, where Wallace was executed in 1305. Bective Abbey, to the east of Trim, served as the courtyard of Longshanks Castle and also represented the dungeons in which Wallace was imprisoned. St. Nicholas's Church in nearby Dunsany became Westminster Abbey, where the marriage of Prince Edward and Isabella took place. Released in 1995, the movie won five Academy Awards, including the awards for Best Picture and Best Director, and was nominated for five others. A uh, chilly, cloudy morning here, September 2nd. Nice little uh, town of Trim. Sleepy. Here we go. Trim Castle. All right. It is a big one, too. So I'm not sure what this video is going to be today. If it is just going to be a tour of the castle, that might be the case because uh, I have a rental car that I'm supposed to return in two hours back in Dublin, which is an hour away. Oh, free entry. Oh, but you can't go inside there, that's too bad. Because that looks amazing to explore in the interior of this massive tower. Well, I guess sometimes, or previously or something, then uh, tours were available inside. I guess closed because of COVID. The Great Hall. Courts, parliaments, feasts, and all issues relating to the management of the Lordship were discussed at meetings in the Great Hall. After 1250, the great public rooms in the keep were considered unsuitable for such gatherings, so this impressive hall was built, brightly lit by large windows with a view of the harbor and the abbey of St. Mary's across the river. It had a high seat at the west end with kitchens and undercroft cellars to the east. Ornate oak columns rising from stone bases supported the great span of the roof. The hall was heated from a central hearth and vented by a lantern-like louvre in the roof. Imagine the uh, festivities that occurred right here 800 years ago. The Solar, also called the Magdalen Tower, this is the strongest of the curtain wall towers. It defended the ford on the Boyne from which the town Bail Athatroim, the town of the ford of the Elder Tree, derives its name.
In the summer of 1367, Edward III ordered the custodians of the castle to rebuild the tower beyond the west gate of the castle of Trim. This work was required to prepare Trim Castle for its handover in 1368 to Edmund Mortimer and his wife Philippa. And so it would have looked very different from what you see left now, of course. Not just the structure, but uh, the decoration, the carpeting, and uh, you know, chandeliers, and furniture, and paintings on the walls, the uh, hearth, the fire crackling away. What a sight it must have been when it was in its full glory. So I have a mission for uh, after I walk around here, is try to get over to that thing. Give myself a little uh, adventure to tack onto the end of this, since this might be a short video, but uh, maybe I can get up close to that thing. Kind of a trip that uh, I am the only person here. It is 10, 15 or so. It opened at uh, 10 according to Google, and so I waited to come over here until uh, then and kind of thought it would be a bit more crowded. It is a fairly uh, famous castle of Ireland and only an hour from uh, Dublin. But uh, got it to myself. It is so kind of a, a tease to not be able to go inside, walk around in those rooms get the uh, views from up high. I wonder how much of it is actually accessible. If you could get all the way up there, I can see like a uh, railing type thing on the very top. Man, if you could actually go all the way up there to the top.
hard to read there, but it says National School. Maybe the top word is uh, Irish Gaelic. And then we have here Abbey Lane, not to be confused with Abbey Road. Let's see if this goes through to the uh, spire or whatever that is. There it is. The army of Oliver Cromwell attacking St. Mary's Abbey, Trim Church, 1649. Image taken from window, St. Patrick Church Trim. So I guess a uh, stained glass window in the church. And good news, the uh, gate is open. There you can see the castle. Pardon the noise. So I'm just a few miles outside of Trim at Bechtiv Abbey. In 1147, this cistern abbey was founded as a daughter house of Mellifont Abbey. The community here was Anglo-Norman. In 1386, men of Irish birth were effectively barred from entering the monastery. The cloister and the domestic buildings where the monks lived and worked were rebuilt on a smaller scale in the 15th century. After Bective was dissolved in 1536 as part of the campaign by Henry VIII to control the wealth and power of the church, the complex was converted into a great mansion with the insertion of new fireplaces, chimneys, and large stone windows.